a very good morning and warm welcome to our rector, Father Dominic Martis, Principal, Father Anthony Fonseca, Vice Principal, Father Joachim Fernandez, School Administrator, Father Edward de Souza, Father Daigo Nunes, Provincial Delegate of the Salesian Family, Mumbai Province, PTA representatives, supervisors, teachers, and to all my dear friends. Good morning, Samaira. Richard, do you have any idea what's so special today? The school seems to be bustling with energy and enthusiasm, and there are so many guests here. Yes, it's a very special day. We've gathered here for our Founders Day celebration. Oh, I get it now. It's the 31st of January, the Feast of Don Bosco. Today, we pay tribute to the life and legacy of St. Don Bosco, the founder of our school and the Salesian Society. I'm sure our esteemed guest would like to know more about our founder. Maybe you could share a thing or two about Don Bosco. Gladly, Samaira. It would be my honor to do so. St. John Bosco, also known as Don Bosco, was a Catholic priest and educator who founded the Salesian Society in 1859. He dedicated his life to serving the poor and marginalized youth of his time. Don Bosco is known for his innovative approach to education and his dedication to the spiritual and moral development of young people. He is considered the patron saint of youth. His teachings and practices continue to inspire educators around the world, and his legacy is honored to the many schools and organizations that bear his name. It is really an exceptional day. Shouldn't we then welcome all our guests in an excellent manner? Dance allows us to express our thoughts and emotions without having to speak. Dance is a symbol of our warm welcome and appreciation for your presence. It also reflects the joyful spirit of our school community. So, here we have our friends ready to welcome you all through their dance performance.
That was indeed a grand welcome. Thank you, friends. Dance as an art form is a marvelous expression. When we use this expression to pray, we can ask God to take our bodies and bless others as we communicate, minister, and convey emotions through movement. Yes, Richard. Let us invoke the blessings of the Almighty. So, let's have the prayer dance before we begin other celebrations.
call upon our principal reverend father anthony fonseca to deliver the welcome address father dominic martis our rector and manager father jokim our vice principal father edward our administrator father daigo provincial delegate for Salesian family, supervisors, teacher Dorothy, teacher Supriya, Sir Muzumdar, teacher Bela, and teacher Michel, teachers, members of the staff, parents, non teaching staff, support staff, and my dear students. Good morning to all of you and a happy feast to all of you also and welcome to this so-called 23rd annual day program. This year we are not having our annual day program but we are combining a so-called annual day program with our feast day of St. John Bosco. Someone rightly said, the best and the beautiful thing in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt in heart. And I'm standing here to tell what I'm feeling in my heart today. And what am I feeling in my heart today? I'm feeling a sense of thanksgiving. I want to share my gratitude and thank each one of you for being such an important part of this institution. Don Bosco High School and Junior College Naigao is an institution under the able leadership of Salesians of Don Bosco. But it is not only a school and college. It is a temple of holiness. It is a place which is holy. It is a center of learning good habits, skills, gaining knowledge and wisdom at a very tender age, which will have an everlasting impact on one's character and personality. Every day, I am moved and inspired by what I see 
I marvel at the incredible devotion of our staff and the unique ability to teach and inspire our children. I want to thank all the staff of Don Bosco Naigao who continue to strive for excellence in each and every classroom to grow stronger in our diversity and cultivate an open and positive school climate. Every building has to be built on strong pillars. And in Don Bosco, we have five strong pillars. They are none other than our supervisors. And I want to thank all the supervisors on this particular day for all the work, for everything that they do during the year, every day, every hour, every minute. Special thanks to them. I owe my gratitude to them. I would like to thank by taking name of each one of them, starting with teacher Doherty, our coordinating supervisor, teacher Supriya, the supervisor for 5th, 6th and 7th, Sir Muzumdar, the supervisor of the college section, teacher Bella, the supervisor of the primary section and teacher Michel, the supervisor of the pre-primary section. Along with them, with the pillars, we also have something what is called the plaster and the false ceiling and the decoration and everything that makes the school good, look beautiful, and they are our PTA members. I want to thank the co-committee of the PTA members along with the PTA members of each class. Thank you for your good work that you are doing. God will surely bless you. I also want to thank our office staff, the support staff and the domestic staff. I want to thank in a special way Mr. Balram who is retiring this year for his service to the school, to the students, teachers and everyone. I want to thank all the parents of this school. You have been with us. Thank you very much for believing in us. Thank you very much for encouraging us and more so Thank you very much for sending your children to our school. It is your belief that we relish. I also want to thank our students. Because they are, we are. Don Bosco would say, it is enough for me to know that you are young, for me to love you. It is enough for us to know that you students are part of our school for us to work for you. I want to thank all of them. I want to thank today all the teachers who have worked for this particular celebration. They have trained their students and we have seen the two programs right now. I want to thank all the student teachers who have trained them and the students who have taken part the parents who have sent them, I want to thank Mr. Rajesh, Ashok, Anand and all the other members of their team for getting this place ready and organized. I would like to thank Sir Vijay and Teacher Latifa for organizing this backdrop and making the stage look colorful. I want to thank the light and the sound system those who have organized that. A special thanks to Teacher Doherty. She has been a very strong support of the school. She has made sure that everything that happens in the school is well organized and well planned 
and well executed. I want all of you to give a big round of applause to Teacher Doherty. And finally, I want to thank my management, beginning with our Vice Principal, Father Joachim, who is seeing to all the discipline activities and the co-curriculum activities of the school. I would also like to end by thanking my management staff for their support, their help, and their wishes and prayers and blessing. I end this by telling you that we are praying for you. We have prayed for you today. We are always praying for you. I want to wish all the best for the remaining part of the program. Thank you very much and God bless all of you. Thank you, Father. Praise is a debt we owe unto the virtue of others. There is no verbal vitamin more powerful than praise. Now is the time to felicitate and applaud the efforts of all our dignitaries. I call upon teacher Annie to take over. Great leaders don't set out to be leaders. They set out to make a difference. It's never about the role, but always about the goal. So let's felicitate all the members of the management for their dedication and hard work for the all-round development of our school. Our rector, Father Dominic Martis, is the first rector of the new canonically erected house of Don Bosco, Nigao. He also serves as parish priest of the Mary Help of Christians Church. Father likes to share the mission of Christ and empower the poorest young through education. Father, we very much appreciate your dedication and hard work. So, kindly accept this token of our love. Our principal, Father Anthony Fonseca. Father is a source of inspiration and his aim is to encourage the students to maximize their potential. His sincere efforts for the all-round development of our school can be seen in every faculty. Father, please accept this token of our love and gratitude. Our Vice Principal, Father Joachim Fernandez, has always been a guide, a mentor, and an advisor, always ready to help. Father, kindly accept this token of our love and appreciation. Our administrator, Father Edward D'Souza, a keen observer of things, runs the school like a well-oiled machine. Father, we appreciate all your efforts. Please accept this token of our love. <laughs> Provincial delegate of the Salesian family, Mumbai province, Father Daigo Nunes. He is also the assistant parish priest of the Mary Help of Christians Church. Father loves working with the poor and particularly for the young. Father, kindly accept this token of our love. Besides the management, responsibility is also shouldered by our dear coordinators. We laud their hard work and acknowledge their tireless efforts in running a tight ship. So we will be presenting them with a token of our love. Mrs. Michelle Silva from the pre-primary section. <clears throat> Mrs. Bella Colasso from the primary section.
Mrs. Supriya Rodriguez from the lower secondary section. Mrs. Dorothy Fernandez from the higher secondary section. Mr. Sanjeev Mujumdar from the college section. The PTA or Parents Teachers Association plays an important role in assisting the school authorities in obtaining various objectives. Thank you, dear PTA members, for all the help, support, and cooperation rendered to our institution. I request the representatives to kindly accept this token of our appreciation. Mrs. Komal Kadam, Vice Principal, Pre Primary Section. So, sorry, Vice President of the Pre Primary Section. Mrs. Sumanta Sampe, Joint Secretary of the Pre-Primary Section. <laughs> Mrs. Yogita Kurade, Vice President of the Primary Section. Mrs. Priyanka D'Souza, Joint Secretary of the Primary Section. Mrs. Sharna Prashant Matri, Vice President of the Secondary Section. Mrs. Sangeeta Tak, Joint Secretary of the Secondary Section. Mrs. Santan Rodericks, Vice President of the College Section. Mrs. Manisha Tokala, Joint Secretary of the Co College Section. <laughs> Mr. Balram Das, our school security guard, has served our institution for 13 years from 1st August 2009. He has now completed his service in our institution. On his retirement, we would like to thank him for his dedicated and selfless service and commitment to his job over the past years. As a token of our love and appreciation, I now call upon Father Rector to kindly hand over the citation to Mr. Balram Das. with our greatest appreciation to Mr. Balram Das for his distinguished career as security guard after the heart and mind of Don Bosco for 13 years from August 1st, 2009 to 1st January 2023 at Don Bosco High School and Junior College, Naigao East, Palgar, Maharashtra, India. This citation tendered on the occasion of his retirement bears 
official commendation and appreciation from the management and the colleagues of Don Bosco High School and Junior College for his dedication, selfless service and commitment on the job over the past years. For being an integral part of this institution, for professionally dealing with the institution, thereby contributing to the safety and security of this institution. From the management, staff, parents and students of Don Bosco High School Junior College, Naigao East, dated 31st January 2023. Thank you, Mr. Balram, and God bless you. Thank you, Father. I now invite Mr. Balram Das to express his gratitude and appreciation on his retirement. Honorable Principal, Honorable Principal, Honorable Vice Principal, and Honorable Administrator, Honorable all the teacher staff and my dear students. Today is a very happy day for me. Outwardly, it is very sad for me because I still have to leave all of you forever and this place. This is why I am very sad. I have been serving in this school for 20 years. I have come here in, in the year 1923. And since then, I have been serving here. This is why I, have, I am fond of this place very much. I don't know the people of my place in, during this during this most long period. So I so I thank to the parents, parents, fathers, and all the members for celebrating this this day. This is, this is, uh, I want to end on my speech, think, talking this. Year. Thank you, Mr. Balram Das. I thank all our dignitaries for being part of our celebration and making this day a truly memorable one. Thank you, Teacher Ali. I now call upon our rector, Reverend Father Dominic Martis, to address on this special occasion of our Founders Day celebration. Members of the management team, the names have been taken so many times. The teachers, the coordinators, the students, some students are here, not all are there. The parents and also the members of Parent and Teachers Association that we have felicitated them and all the students and the staff members and all who are present over here on behalf of the management team I want to wish you happy feast of Don Bosco today is 31st of January and we celebrate the feast of St. John Bosco also our founder the teacher and friend of, of the youth. So 
I want to wish you a happy feast. Today we are celebrating annual day in a typical or in a different way. Otherwise usually it would have been on the ground. There would have been big uh, crowd. But we are doing it in representative way. Some representatives are there. And also today we, uh, we have felicitated Balram for his service. And I want to make it a message that everyone over here is important. Your service, your contribution is very important. For Don Bosco, Don Bosco's method or Don Bosco's system is all inclusive, all become part of this educational system. So students are there and they are the center and all of us are around to help the child to achieve his or her goal. And Don Bosco's purpose of education or the goal of education or everything that he did was to take the child towards God. That was his purpose. That is his goal. In simple way we say in Catholic atmosphere when Don Bosco born in Catholic atmosphere in Italy he was like, to make the child good Christian. But now we are beyond that. We are in India, multicultural society and we say make good Christians and honest citizens. This is the purpose of Don Bosco's education. And in order to achieve this, all of us become part of it. All inclusive. I'm, I'm very happy that Balram has served and uh, he is retired and he's being felicitated and he was very emotional today that Balram we want to tell you that your contribution is recognized and we are proud of you and we want to thank you. My dear students and my dear parents and also uh, members of the P Parents and Teachers Association Don Bosco education, Don Bosco's education is mainly for the poor. And we want to stick to it. You know? And I want everyone to become part of it. Our rector major or the one who is uh, the, our superior and the council in their meetings and in their deliberations have reminded us again and again we need to return back to the poor we need to return back to don uh, to the youngsters and in our province also we have made a deliberation that we need to get back to the poor to the neighborhood and i wish and i pray that all of us become part of it neighborhood ministry what it means it means that our entire mission or the campus is at the service of the poor. 20 years back I was over here and I remember this wall was the last of, of the civilization. There was nothing beyond this wall. There was a small path and that uh, the transportation was done for the, this church over here through that small path. Now, from then till now, things have changed in Naigao. No? It's have developed. Naigao has developed, in my estimate, at least 20 times. And our school was built that time. And now the infrastructure is not sufficient. We are here as a representative, but we 
God willing, we may have a nice hall so that all the students can, uh, can be accommodated and we can have big functions. That is a wish. But for neighborhood ministry, we need to make our infrastructure available. It means like this, those who are living close by, Don Bosco will serve their needs. What are the needs? For the skill development, maybe English speaking, maybe the skill of dancing, music, different, different skills that can be accommodated so that all, you know, inclusive, not only Don Bosco students, yes, there will be some will be part of the school, but along the, around the neighborhood, all can be come to the Don Bosco and gain knowledge, skills, build their capacities and be what they are supposed to be. This is the mission, this is the vision of Don Bosco. Return back to the young, return back or turn, come back to the poor. This is the mission of Don Bosco and I exhort, I want all of us to become students, yes, the parents may need to be encouraging first our students yes then also all the other neighborhood the church is thinking in a synodal way last year onwards we have been in this part uh, in the process of synodal way what does the church think and how does it think it is it wants to think and act and walk together inclusive it is called synodal way. So everybody is part of the journey. There is poor, there, there, there is rich, there is fat, there is thin, there is tall, there may be short, there, those who are, cannot walk, lame, those who are old, all walk or journey together. This is the Church's way, synodal way. The message of the church is like this. Let's walk together. Let's journey together. Walk together. Work together. And win together. So my exhortation to the parents and also the students, those who are studying now, after some years you will become the ex-students. Then you come back to help the mission of Don Bosco. We pray, hopefully, not this year, maybe in the coming year, we want to go one shift. Means all the, we'll have, we'll put up the, some classrooms. So we will have one shift school. Then in the evening, we can have different programs for the neighborhood. No? Music, dance, uh, whatever is the skill needed. English speaking course, uh, small training program, how to appear for the interview. So the youngsters will be, uh, will gain and they'll become the fully empowered youngsters. So this is our vision, this is our goal and I want the, especially the PTA members and all, if you can, if you have some ideas how we can work towards the neighborhood ministry, I will be very happy to listen to you and to share. Usually I sit from 9.30 to 11.30 in the rector's office. I exhort and I request uh, to bring the ideas how we can work towards the neighborhood ministry and especially the poor and then we can take all of us all of us can journey together towards God to become good Christians and honest citizens. Good morning and have a nice day. Thank you, Father, for your valuable words of inspiration. The deepest craving of human nature is to be appreciated. And what better day than today? 
to recognize and applaud the efforts of our all-rounders. Yes, it is now time to felicitate our all-rounders for the academic year 2021 and 2022. We call upon teacher Annie to kindly come forward with the prize distribution ceremony. Now, it's time to acknowledge the talent of our hard-working students, their performance and activities during the year and struggle for excellence have made us proud for having such determined students. I now request our Rector, Father Dominic Martis, to felicitate the students.
So Myra, thus far it has been such a grand event. How about an icing on the cake? Wouldn't it swell our hearts with pride to glance through all the achievements and talents of our institution? That would be swell indeed, Richard. We now present our school report for the academic year 2022-23. Good morning and a warm welcome to Don Bosco High School and Junior College Nigaon. School report for the academic year 22-23. Our school was founded in the year 1999 and in response to the constant call and the need for a school in the newly formed citizen complex. Father William Falcao was the pioneer and the first principal of Don Bosco High School, Nigaon. The baton was then passed to Father Bonnie Borges. Don Bosco's educative method was carried forward by Father Flovi de Souza, followed by Father Glenn Fernandez. And now we have Father Anthony Fonseca leading on the path of our patron and founder, St. Don Bosco. Our management team is led by our rector, Rev. Father Dominic Martis, Principal, Rev. Father Anthony Fonseca, Vice Principal, Rev. Father Joachim Fernandez, our Administrator, Rev. Father Edward de Souza, and Rev. Father Daigo Nunes, the Provincial Delegate of the Salatian Family, Mumbai Province. The school has a set of well-qualified and dedicated staff members for all the sections. The staff is well-guided and supported by our coordinators of the various sections. To inculcate leadership qualities in students, and to give them a feel of being an important and integral part of the administrative body, a student council is formed every year. Don Bosco's preventive system of education is based on reason, religion and loving kindness. It focuses on the all-round development of the pupil. Activities and events conducted at Don Bosco High School and Junior College Nigao Investiture Ceremony. It was an occasion where the young students were all prepared to don the mantle of leadership and discharge the responsibilities entrusted to them by the school. Patriotic Song and Dance Competition the students of Don Bosco High School and Junior College gave scintillating stage performances showcasing a sense of pride, self-esteem and self-confidence
टुवर्ड्स देअर कंट्री हर घर तिरंगा प्रभात फेरी इन प्रेपरेशन फॉर द सेवेंटी फिफ्थ इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑफ इंडिया इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेलिब्रेशन एट डॉन बॉस्को हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज नाइगांव इंडिया सेवेंटी फिफ्थ इंडिपेंडेंस डे वॉज सेलिब्रेटेड इन आर स्कूल विद ग्रेट फर्वर एंड पेट्रियोटिक झील अ शॉर्ट कल्चरल प्रोग्राम फॉलोड बाय अ स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ हार्ट टचिंग पेट्रियोटिक सॉन्ग्स डांसेस एंड स्पीचेस प्रेजेंटेड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स टीचर्स डे सेलिब्रेशन a well planned and animated program for the teachers was held in the school hall which was beautifully decorated the students expressed their gratitude towards their teachers through speeches singing and dances interclass football matches interclass football matches are played during the recess Every day two teams participate in these action packed fixtures 15th October Global Hand Washing Day Diwali celebration decorated with lights lanterns and rangolis of vibrant hues the school had an ambience of joy togetherness and hope The assemblies emphasized the message of peace and pollution-free Diwali. The students showcased the spirit of Diwali through speech, drama, live band and scintillating dance performances which added exuberance and brought joy to the audience. Salation Regional Councilor Father Biju Michael's visit at Don Bosco's Naigaon It was indeed a great day of blessings for the staff and students as the regional councillor for South Asian region Reverend Father Biju Michael visited our institution Father addressed the students encouraging and advising them to be honest and pure in words and action he later addressed the staff saying we need to grow in the salation charism by serving the poorest and the neediest in our neighborhood one of the highlights of the program was the unveiling of the logo for the first ever collective exhibition be peace makers by reverend father biju michael he congratulated and thanked the management staff and students and wished us the best in this endeavor eminent retired scientist mr david antuvan inaugurated the exhibition the exhibition featured a planetarium which gave us the experience of space there were various zones in the institution showcasing work on themes like life on land life underwater health and hygiene diseases and cosmology other innovative projects related to science technology and hydroponics were displayed 23rd annual sports day several events were conducted on sports day and students showcased a great sense of discipline and mastery of skills achieved through weeks of hard work the highlight of the day was the track and field events christmas celebration the school celebrated christmas ushering in the message of love hope good will and cheer for all sharing and selflessness wherein children beautifully enacted the true essence of christmas scout and guide camp 
A camp was organized for the scouts and guides of standard 8th, 9th and 10th. Around 550 students participated in this camp that was held on the school ground. SSC Farewell The premises of Don Bosco High School echoed with blessings as the management, staff and students came together to bid farewell to the outgoing students of Standard 10th. Republic Day Don Bosco Quiz Our Achievements DSO Winners of the DSO Basketball Tournament Under 14 Boys Winners of the DSO Football Tournament Under 17 Boys Vasai Kala Krida Valentina D'Souza from Standard 7C bagged the 7th place at the Vasai Virar Mahanagar Palika Marathon. Gauri Naresh from Standard 7th B bagged the 1st place for the 200 meters race at the Vasai Virar Kala Krida and 8th place at the Vasai Virar Mahanagar Palika Marathon. Abacus Purva Reddy from Standard 7th B has been awarded second runners up for the IMAS India Abacus International Visual Competition. Arnav Singh from Standard 5th B has been awarded Second runners up for the IMAS India Abacus International Visual Competition. SSC Toppers Our best practices at Don Bosco's Naigaon. Assemblies, good morning talks, reading for effective communication. Reading for Effective Communication is a language enhancement program. It is an initiative to boost the communication skills of the students. It aims at encouraging students to develop the habit of reading. Birthday Celebrations Holy Mass Our school campus consists of a playroom, a basketball turf, a football court and a library. We have a bio lab, a chemistry lab and a physics lab. Our computer lab. The academic year has not yet ended. We have many upcoming events in the days to come. But for now, I, Rachel Thoris, thank you for your patience. God bless each one of you. Wishing each one of you a very happy feast of St. John Bosco. Our students have put together a skit on peace in our family. Let's see what they have in store for us. Peace in our families? Yes, peace and war begin at home. If we truly want peace in the world, let us accept and love one another. Here we have our students enacting the skit. This is a story about a little girl named Suzanne and her family. Suzanne's parents always fought and argued, due to which Suzanne was always sad and frustrated. Good morning, Mom and Dad. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Suzanne. Mom, Dad, I have made these two paintings. Please help me to choose any one painting which I can submit for the upcoming drawing competition. Hmm, 
this painting is the best no i think this one is the best you listen to me i am always right no you should go with this painting i'm sure you'll win suzanne's mummy and daddy kept arguing poor suzanne is upset with these constant fights oh god please help me i can't handle this any more a loud noise can be heard and an angel appears <laughs> my child ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find i am here to help you i have bought four gifts for your family you have to choose any one and it will be yours forever what are those gifts here are those gifts i am happiness happiness a smile happiness helps you to live a stress free life i am wealth if you choose me you can buy whatever you desire you cannot survive in this world without me i am health without health there is no happiness if you don't have good health you don't have any at peace if you choose me you will live a happy and joyful life blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of god Suzanne your father is not earning enough with his little salary i can hardly fulfill my desires i want to be rich Suzanne i want happiness staying with your mother for last few years i've forgotten what is happiness <laughs> Suzanne's parents again get into an argument Mom, Dad, please stop it. The only thing that I need in my family is peace. I would choose the gift of peace. Okay, my child, here's your gift. When Suzanne chose the gift of peace, along with peace, happiness, wealth. and health also start following jesus you had said i could choose only one gift my child wherever there is peace happiness wealth good health will always follow peace i leave you with my peace i give you from that day onwards Suzanne and her family lived in peace. Mother Teresa rightly said, "Peace and war begin at home. If we truly want peace in the world, let us begin by loving one another in our own families." We now pay tribute to some of our world famous leaders who promoted peace and non-violence. Mother Teresa, she received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 for more than 50 years. She comforted the poor, the dying and the unwanted around the world. Dalai Lama 
He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1989 for restoration of peace and human rights in Tibet. Kela Satyarthi and Malala The 2014 Nobel Peace Prize was shared in two equal parts between Kela Satyarthi and Malala for their struggle against the suppression of children and young people and for the right of all children to education Saint Don Bosco a patron saint always believed if you want peace you must first rid your heart of the devil nobody can be truly happy in this world unless he is at peace with god <laughs> with love and gratefulness to god for his manifold blessings through saint john bosco Our students will now present a special dance performance. Thank you students Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it To express our gratitude we would like to invite Rachel to deliver the vote of thanks Good afternoon to everyone present here As the curtain closes on this beautiful day I am honored to propose the vote of thanks At the outset it is indeed my privilege to thank the management 
for this wonderful program of our Founders' Day celebration. Heartfelt thanks to our rector, Father Dominic Martis, our principal, Father Anthony Fonseca, Vice Principal, Father Joachim Fernandez, our administrator, Father Edward D'Souza, Provincial Delegate of the Salesian Family, Mumbai Province, Father Daigo Nunes, for their constant and unwavering support. We sincerely thank our supervisors, Teacher Dorothy Fernandez and Teacher Supriya Rodericks for their meticulous planning and coordination. Our gratitude goes out to our PTA members for being with us this afternoon to grace the occasion with your presence and willingness to play an active role at every school function. Thank you for rendering your support and cooperation. No program can be successful without imparting sufficient training to the students. The prayer and welcome dance, the school report, the skit and the comparing reveal the tireless efforts of our beloved teachers in imparting training to the students. Thank you, dear teachers. I would like to thank Sir Vijay and Sudhir decorators for the beautiful stage and hall decoration. Congratulations and a word of thanks to all you dear participants for your marvelous performance today. I thank all those who have worked off stage, the scouts and guides for ushering the students who assisted in the felicitation, Sir Ashok, Mr. Anand, Mr. Rajesh, and all the support staff for the good sound output and seating arrangement. I would like to thank the students present here for being such a great and responsive audience. I conclude by thanking one and all who have helped in one way or the other to make this splendid celebration a grand success. Thank you. As we come to the close of this program, I would like each one to take home with us this one wonderful thought of Don Bosco and dwell deeply on it. The school was not the end. It was rather the instrumental means for improving the way of life. I'm sure such a reflection will bring about a sea change in our outlook towards our roles as students, staff and management. Happy, Happy feast, feast to, to all. all.